Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? I'm super excited to share a quick flip through of this finished recipe journal with you. So yeah, this is one of the ones I made with recipe cards. So uh, what I have it tied up with is a little uh, fabric, uh, red and white gingham piece of fabric, just uh, using that as for the tie closure. And then I have a little tag uh, to go with this one and it's a pretty little tag with cardstock on the back and it can be you know I put cardstock on the back of my journals to uh, have writing space and it says dream big right there so that's coming along with it and then so the covers on this one were the divider pages in a recipe collection recipe you know card collection and this is the cookies for all occasions and so since there were the dividers, they were blank on the back. And here is the breads and muffins. <laughs> Little divider card. I, you can see I have some patchwork fabric here on the spine that's sewn around. And I bound it with some red and white uh, baker's twine and added a little cluster here that has a button on it. So, And then since the inside of the covers were, were blank, I added some pretty scrapbook paper on the outside. I mean on the inside and then also I sewed around the outside of the the cover too just here and here and here uh, just for uh, really a sturdiness and effect of you know sealing the, the scrapbook paper together and everything so then I added some belly bands here and on the back cover too because I didn't want to cover up this paper it has pretty teapots and flowers on the bottom here so I just, instead of a pocket, I added a belly band, and there's a couple pieces of ephemera here which have been coffee dyed. And then this first page right here is a pocket where I added uh, some more bits that can be used to decorate and have some fun with this little journal. This is a scrap of cardstock. This is from the, actually from the belly band, <laughs> a little piece I cut off there. And then this is a little picture. And this is a piece from a uh, game, Win, Lose, or Draw. Piece, piece of paper there. So that is fun. Journaling space or whatever you might want to use it for. And then on the back of this page, I have a clip, some clipped pieces. I have clipped some pieces throughout so that someone can have fun with them. Instead of me decorating, so whoever gets this can do some decorating. A little sticker label and a Tim Holtz paper doll there uh, some papers here this is a handwritten letter and I put some to make writing space here I put a piece of pretty note paper there this is a blueprint and the back is coffee dyed this is a, the page here with uh, I used this in my yesterday's uh, video where I worked on the hashtag cornucopia of recipes collab and we're doing a Thanksgiving type theme you know and recipes and things so this is a Thanksgiving poem there from an Ideals magazine. And then on to the next pages here. This this I have clipped here an envelope which has a pretty flap and two pieces of pretty note paper that could be used to have some fun in here in this journal. And then some ledger and uh, this is a page from a scrapbook calendar that's been coffee dyed. This is a uh, this is a page I actually found in a typing book, and I'll show you on the other side where she was graded on her typing. But this is beautiful typing here on onion skinned paper, and then here's a pretty piece of paper that has been coffee dyed with this pretty flower on it. This is a page from a calendar. It even has uh, somebody wrote on this calendar. All right, here on this date, somebody's birthday. So, <laughs> but this was from a stack. All these papers. Are from a stack of paper where I, you know, reorganized the papers in my closet, and I have those letter trays. If you saw my reorganization videos, and I took all the papers out of one tray and I said, "Let me use up some of these papers." You know what I mean? And so, um, and I also did that because I wanted it to be kind of uh, leaning toward a true junk journal looking uh, book, so that someone could, if you wanted to use this as a startled junk journal gift for someone, this would be a good way to introduce them to a junk journal without overwhelming them. So here's the other side of that letter and she got an A on her typing test here. <laughs> it's a very pretty letter and uh, she got an A on it. 
everything spelled right and just typed just right. <laughs> so um, here I have clipped some game score sheets. So this is from a game here. And then this is a bridge score sheet. So, you know, those are blank on the back and they are old. You can kind of see the coloring is starting to change where maybe it was a little lighter and starting to get a little darker. But this is to, if it's a beginner person, you know, is to give them an idea of what kind of things you can have fun writing on. You don't have to just write on, you know, paper with lines. You can write on all kinds of things and just, you know, or glue things and glue those down and just, you know, try to get their imagination going on at something like this where they learn to uh, write and decorate and things <laughs> like that. So uh, this is a part of the handwritten letter where the other side I put some stationery and this side you can read or you can cover it up if you want. And then here I have clipped a guest check and a uh, card catalog card, you know, from a library. That's an original, you know, or, you know, old uh, library card there or ca card catalog card. And let's see, did I? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay, and here's the last page with a the uh, with the pocket and in here I have a little bingo this is one that I printed out a long time ago and coffee dyed a little bingo piece of paper and like a bingo card and then this right here is an actual in well 1928 pieces of piece of ephemera important emission card for uh, this girl Gladys uh, let's see I'm trying to think. here's the date and it says junior stenographer right there uh, I guess she was uh, I don't know it says kind of examination junior stenographer field service so United States Civil Service Commission not sure office of the secretary Washington DC so very interesting piece of ephemera there and I have that in the pocket and this in the pocket and then here in this belly band just a two more pieces this is an old envelope and this one says field record on it two little pieces of ephemera that I had printed and coffee dyed a long time ago and now I'm trying to use up some of these pieces but uh, yeah that's the little journal and I think there's about 40 surfaces in here so you could even use this for a December daily a little quick little December daily inexpensive and uh, there you go or a little gift or whatever something a little journal for yourself to tuck in during uh, the holidays and keep your notes and and uh, different things that maybe you want to keep that you run across, right? I mean, I have a couple things to put in my Mimi's journal and my new uh, personal journal right now, so kind of anxious to do that. And it's kind of fun to collect a few things, and then once in a while you catch up and just have a little fun uh, decorating and putting those things into your journal that you want to keep. And then so along with this will come a, a little envelope of, uh, I have 10 pieces of, of uh, goodies in here that can be used and have some fun with a little flower cluster, a little writing space made from scrapbook paper, a little piece of um, cardstock that can be made into a tag, a piece of Monopoly money, a flash card, some tickets, a uh, Rolodex card that I made myself, and those do fit my Rolodex cards, the little punch outs here do fit the standard Rolodex, uh, you know, flipper thing that you might have. There's so many different ones. And then this is a re coffee dyed receipt and this is a recipe card. And so yeah, all those things can be made into tags or journal spaces or whatever you would like. But uh, I'm going to make, I was making another one of these. I'm going to finish that one and so it will be very similar. But when you see this video, this little journal will be in my shop. So uh, if you, uh, like I don't know I, you know, I can't predict if this will sell right away or not, but for instance, if I just, if you wanted more than one of these and maybe you're getting this one and you say, oh, I'd like to have three of those or something like that, um, just send me a message in my Etsy and say, oh, I'm, I'm getting this one, but I need two more <laughs> and I'll make more. I just, uh, you know, made one for right now and then I'm going to go continue on, so yeah, just let me know if you need more than one, and I'll make as many as you want. I have tons of these cards, so <laughs> if I had to stop everything else and make just these, I would not be opposed to that. These are fun little quick things, and I can, um, once you tell me you want some or whatever, even just one more, 
I can put them together pretty quickly. So uh, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.